back. If you just joined us, you're watching the news at 10 live on Channel Television Lagos. A reminder of our top stories. Dazzling fireworks light up the skyline of major cities across the world as citizens usher in year 2020 and a new decade with excitement. Clerics challenge political leaders on the pathway to peace and justice in the country as they admonish congregants on how to conduct themselves in the new year. In his New Year message to Nigerians, President Buhari vows to strengthen the fight against all forms of security threats across the country and leave the nation's electoral process better than he met it. And the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, calls for urgent action in the new year as he reels out challenges facing the global community. For more information on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com. YouTube.com slash channelsweb has videos of our shows. Stay with New Year's celebrations and messages. The primate of the Anglican Church, Reverend Nicholas Oko, has also a message for Nigerians and the country's leaders. He says the nation can overcome all of its challenges if those in position of authority fear God and ensure justice for all. Nigeria is one country reputed for prayers, and for some Christians, there is hardly another better way to begin the new year than to go to their churches to pray. At this cathedral in Abuja, the Anglican primate addresses the congregation, urging members to be more prayerful and exclusively dedicated to God in the new year. The primate, however, has this message for all those in position of authority. For us as a nation, it is very important that the difficulties we are passing through as a country will only get better if we recognize the position of God in our lives. God is God of justice. God is God of fairness. Injustice and peace cannot work together. Justice and peace, they go together. Outside the pulpit, the Anglican primate urged the government to focus on strengthening the security architecture as well as reduce unemployment in the new year. Last year, Many of the young people who are out of school were not able to get employment. So we hope that uh, things will improve progressively. And our young people will have hope and they will not be running away again. We didn't do well in the area of uh, looking after ourselves. Traveling became a very big problem because of insecurity. So we will pray to God and pray for our government that uh, they will do better this year. The much anticipated year 2020 is here. And as many look forward with hope for a prosperous new year, one thing that is certain is the fact that hopes do not just materialize on their own. They need hard work. A similar message is also echoed by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, and he says the year 2020 is going to have a series of joy and victory. He however cautioned that it will also be a year of battles as it calls on Nigerians to pray for the nation. On the international scene, the cleric said earthquakes and volcanoes will erupt and that there will be change of government all across the world. This year, unless we pray very hard, is going to behave like a child that is having convulsion. Earthquakes in many places that it had never happened before. And that's one of the reasons you should pray for Nigeria. Volcanoes that have been dormant for years erupting. 
If you look at the prophecy for 2019, for the international, I, I gave it to you as a Bible passage, two Bible passages. If you go through the two Bible passages, you will see fire, fire, and flood. Where the Lord says, whatever we have seen this year or last year, is nothing compared to what is coming. Except his children will pray. So that his healing hand will be upon the nations of the world. And the reason is sin is becoming far, far more rampant than before. Things that in the past could not even be mentioned is now being celebrated. And God is angry. This year, there will be changes of governments all over the world, in many places. Some of the changes will be peaceful. Some will not be so peaceful. Let's get more news now from our Abuja studio. Here's Ibrahim Adra. Hi, Ibrahim. Happy New Year. Hello, Marachi. Happy New Year to you and all our viewers across the world. Our President Muhammad Buhari today promised to strengthen the fight against violent extremism and other forms of insecurity in the country to ensure the safety of all Nigerians. A newer message from President Buhari says, quote, the federal government will continue to work with state governors, neighboring states and international partners to tackle the root causes of violent extremism and the network that helped finance and organize terror. The president also used the medium to assure Nigerians that the ongoing joint land border security exercise is intended to safeguard Nigeria's economy and security, adding that normal cross-border movements will resume as soon as safeguards are deemed adequate. The president asked Nigerians to expect to see certain infrastructure projects this year, including 47 road projects to be completed between 2020 and 2021. Major bridges, including substantial work on the second Niger Bridge, completion of 13 housing estates under the National Housing Project Plan, and the commissioning of the Lagos, Kano, Meduguri, and Enugu International Airport, among others. Part of the message described today as marking a new decade, a time of hope, optimism, and fresh possibilities. We look forward as a nation to the 2020s as the opportunity to build on the foundation we have laid together on security, diversification of our economy, and taking on the curse of corruption. Now, these are the pledges on which I have been twice elected president and remain the framework for a stable, sustainable, and more prosperous future, end of quote. President Buhari also promised to strengthen the electoral process and not run in any other election. In his words, elections are the cornerstone of our democracy. I salute the commitment of the millions who voted in peace last February and of those leaders who contested for office vigorously but fairly, submitting to the authority of the electorate, the Independent National Electoral Commission and the judicial process. I understand very well the frustrations our system has in the past triggered. I'll be standing down in 2023 and will not be available in any future elections. End of quote. And while people around the world celebrate the new year, the joy of the celebration is double in some homes where new babies were born today. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, had estimated that 392,078 babies will be born around the world on New Year's Day, with a projection that 26,039 of them will be born in Nigeria. With that figure in mind, some babies actually made the celebration worthwhile, with the wife of the Speaker of the House of Representatives receiving the first baby of the year in the nation's capital, Abuja, today. Guagua community in the federal capital territory is about 25 minutes to Abuja city center. The community is largely dominated by indigenous of Abuja 
and some workers in the nation's capital who cannot afford to live in highbrow areas such as Meitama, Asokoro, and Gariki. The community, to a very large extent, is usually a sleepy one. But on January the 1st, 2020, the wife of the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Women Affairs to make their way to the primary health care centre to receive the baby of the year. Both mother and father of the baby, who arrived at exactly 12 midnight in January, are elated with the joy that comes with having their baby receive this sort of attention. I am very happy. All my children I born before, this never happened to me, but as this thing happened to me, this is my first time. So I am very, very, very happy. As I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I Outside the maternity ward, issues of routine immunization, child spacing, and regular health care for children is emphasized. Even though it seems as though we've come out to what people would consider a small center, it's actually perhaps more important because women are, have easier access to centers like this. Uh, the midwives, I would like to commend them most especially for the work that they are doing, going out in the communities, um, educating the women about uh, the need to immunize the children the, uh, so that we can eradicate a lot of these diseases which are coming back. We are seeing in countries where people don't believe in um, immunization. They're not coming back in Nigeria because we are immunizing our children, which we should be commended for. Raising these children will require a lot of effort from both parents and members of the community. Achieving success in this regard is described as key to attaining development for the nation. In Ogun and Lagos states, the wives of the state governors also received the first babies of the year delivered in different hospitals across the state. But it's not just about the celebration of birth. They both appeal to nursing mothers to engage in exclusive breastfeeding for the newborns. Being a mother is the joy and pride of every woman, and for most expectant mothers, the icing on the cake is having their babies delivered on the first day of a new year. At the Ijede General Hospital in Ikorodu, Mrs. Bukola Agede is fortunate to have had her baby boy at 12.01 a.m., while others had theirs hours later. I appreciate God that I'm, all, I'm fine, and my baby's fine. And the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwolu, is here to celebrate with the new mothers and also present gift items to them. I want to congratulate the parents of our first baby of 2020 and pray that all resources you will need to ensure the growth and well-being of your child will be available to you in Jesus' name. Mrs. Sonwolu also visits Aboa General Hospital, Ketu Ejirin General Hospital, as well as Lagos Island Maternity Hospital, where she also received the first babies. In Ogun State, the wife of the state governor, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodun, visits the Olabisi Onobanjo Teaching Hospital, Shagamu, where she presents gifts to two first babies of the year in the state, in the hospital. To the mothers, look after your children well, um, Make sure you breastfeed exclusively as long as you can. Um, they know the implications of uh, not breastfeeding. Um, look after your children very, very well. Newborn babies bring happiness, but what is mostly required from these hospitals is ensuring that pregnant women and other patients get the services and attention needed in order to reduce child and maternal mortality and other deaths in the country. And when the news at 10 returns, United Nations Secretary General calls for urgent action in the new year as he reels out challenges facing the global community. And more coming from our London Bureau and around the world in five. Do join us again.